using GeoMagic Control X. In this presentation, we will be demonstrating the deviation location process. We will accomplish this by creating a datum location on the surface of the part, defining an area to measure deviations, create a fitting surface, then classify and dimension the deviations in the defined area. To begin, we will need to create a datum, a place to measure from, typically a defining feature where all other measurements will be referenced. This datum can be a plane, vector, and so on. In our case, we will use a reference point. In the Compare tab, under the Compare group, select the Deviation Location icon. In the Select Local Datums dialog box, select the previously created reference point. Next, using the Rectangle Selection tool, highlight an area on the part to create a defined area. Selecting the checkbox in the Calculate Fitting Surface dialog box will create a fitting surface automatically. Should you want to change the fitting of the nominal surface in the dialog box, you can manually fit the surface to the part, edit the number of control points by manually entering a specific number, and adjust the deformation and location search scope sensitivity using the slider bars. Once the surface has been created, select the next stage arrow to classify what is a deviation. Select the Find icon in the Find dialog box. This will display the deviations in the defined area based on the criteria in the dialog box. In the Find Object dialog box, you can change the names of the deviations, adjust the defining edge of the deviations using the Depth Adjustment slider bar, as well as define what is and isn't a deviation by its own depth or area. After the deviations have been classified, select the Next Stage arrow to dimension the deviations. In the Create Inspection Features dialog box, you can create dimensions between deviations or create dimensions from the datum to the individual deviation. When creating dimensions between two deviations, the software will automatically select the two closest points on the individual deviation. When creating dimensions between the datum and the deviations, we can select multiple types of dimensions, such as distance to datum, length of object, width of area, and so on. Now that the area has been defined, a fitting surface has been created, and the deviations have been classified and dimensioned, select the checkbox to complete the command. Thank you for using GeoMagic Control X.